Explorers, and welcome to my channel. So today, I am trying, on camera, the uh, Super Malt Stout version 2 that we started not that long ago. I mean, it hasn't been that long. Now, for those people that haven't seen the video, put the cards at the top to the version 1 and the version 2. And today, we are going to be tasting it. Tasting it more. So, uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to drink this because it... I, I need to open a fresh one to show you. That's the excuse I'm using. <laughs> so I've now disposed of the evil stuff that was in the glass. And it's time to open a fresh one. Now this has been chilled in my fridge. It's lovely and cold. And it looks, it looks good in the bottle. It's got a bit of sediment, but it's only a tiny bit. And that's what you'd expect from a beer. So let's pop a sheet open. Never do it towards your face just in case you've overcarbonated. Oh, that sounds good. That has a good pop to it. Let's pour it out. Dun, 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 dun. Now, give it a bit of a, a whirly. Just leave the little drag in the bottom there. And there we go. So instantly, you will notice, compared to the version one, this has a head. Look at it, looks pretty. So it actually looks more like a pint of Guinness than I've, I've got before. I mean, the Supermoat version 1 was very strong, but also it didn't have a head, it didn't have any hops. This time it does. I mean, that is it's actually quite nice. So I know the head doesn't last very long, so that means that I need to add more oats, which means I'm going to have to make a version 3. And hopefully by then I will have cracked it. I've got pretty close. So that's the thing with homebrewing. You start off with a base. It's your best guess on a recipe. I mean, sometimes you can use other people's and work from there. But in this case, it, I'm the only one that's done it as far as I've known. So let's give this a taste. Mm, okay, that is good. That, that is good. I'm not just saying that because I've had two bottles already. It is actually very, very nice. It has, for people that like a basic stout, this tastes exactly like that. It's not quite as full-bodied as a Guinness. Uh, that's partly to do with the fact that I wanted to try and get this somewhere around the 5% mark instead of the 8 that it originally was. My bad. But at the same time, I have actually made a stout kit that tastes worse than this. So, what does that really say uh, about stout kits? So, the head, yeah, needs work, but it has such a good flavour. Hmm. I mean, it has that... It's not stringent, and it's not bitter, and it's not sweet. It's all mixed together in, in almost perfect proportions. Do you think that the people that made super malt knew that their super malt makes quite a nice beer or stout I mean it is it's fairly good and you know since um yeah okay I added in a bit of the yeasty dregs but at the same time it has it has glass appeal I mean it's not it's not perfect but it is good mmm that is that is almost like drinking a pint Almost. I mean, it needs a little bit more work, but I'm I'm honing in on it. We're getting closer. I'm really shocked, to be fair. I mean, the hops, you can't really taste them. They're not in your face. And I do like my citra hops, so obviously not necessarily what you would use with a stout. You'd use the Fuggles or, you know, Centennial, something like that. But I like my citra, so I'm sticking with it. And it's not in your face. Which is fine, because stouts are very lightly hopped. The percentage is less, so I guess that's closer to a, a Guinness, but... Mmm. I'm not trying to make a Guinness. I'm trying to make a nice pint, regardless of its brand. And I'm getting really close now. I mean, it is so close. It's just the head retention and a slight mouthfeel, and this will be a really good pint. Like... Really? I mean, you could... I'm going to have to serve this up to someone that doesn't know. 
and see what they think. That's a good idea for a video. Let's have a vape on this. Really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have. It's been a, it's been a tale, an epic quest, if you will, to make an awesome beer from random things that shouldn't be beer. Hmm. I'm going to enjoy this pint. So don't forget to comment, rate, like, share, and of course subscribe. Check out the other videos. Share them with your friends, whatever. And uh, I will catch you in the next video. So, um, cheers, guys.